I accidentally launched this huge nuclear missile, and now me and my brother Milo must build a doomsday bunker to try and save our families. But what happens when the missile finally hits its target, my home? Chip, I couldn't believe you just launched that nuclear missile! What were you thinking? I am so sorry, Milo. I just did that by accident. If I remember correctly, I built this nuke to last 10 minutes in the air before coming back down. So we have 10 minutes before it arrives and nukes our entire village. Oh my gosh, our families are here. We need to protect them, Chip. Yeah, we need to build a doomsday bunker that will protect both of our families from the nuclear missile. All right, let's get started. We need to build a bunker right over here. I think this is the perfect area because it's away from all other buildings. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Milo. I guess that will help too. First, we need to dig down just like this in a really wide area. Milo, that's really messy. Not like that. You need to dig down in a square. This is how we're going to keep track of what we're building. A square has four sides, right? Yes, it does, Milo. That's a really good point. Well, there's a little problem with that. What's the problem? That's okay, Milo. Just follow my lead. I will guide you through it. We need to also make sure that this square is a rectangle. It needs to go this way as well. A rectangle? That's not a square, silly. You're right, Milo. Sorry. I'm just worried about my family. Now that we've dug this square out, we need to get some iron blocks just like these ones. Wow, iron blocks? That's really hardcore. Yeah, it is. Come on, Milo. We need to keep digging even further down. These iron blocks are going to become the walls to this massive square rectangle thingy. They need to go really deep because these iron blocks are going to prevent the bombs from hitting us. Yeah, iron is one of the strongest materials in the game, but it's going to keep us really safe. It totally will. These iron blocks will line the walls of a staircase that will go right down underground. The further underground we go, the safer us and our families will be from the nuclear bomb. So we just have to go really, really deep. Yeah. Yeah, and the further away the bomb explosion will be, Milo, that's the most important thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Chip, I'm still kind of mad that you let off the bomb without asking me. I'm sorry, I was trying to do research on it to see if we could stop all nuclear bombs, but I accidentally made a really big one, and now we're in huge trouble. Well, you know, out of the two of us, I'm definitely the better scientist. Um, Milo, I don't think that's true. I may have made a mistake, but at least I can design a bomb in the first place. What? I can totally design a bomb. All you need is some grass and some lemonade. What? I didn't use either of those ingredients when making my bomb. I used a bunch of explosives, some rocket fuel. Oh, really? Well, that's why we're in big trouble. You've been using some really crazy materials. I know, crazy materials that do massive explosion damage. I really hope we build deep enough underground that our families are not hurt by it. Well, it looks like we have a cave here. Maybe this will help us out a little bit. Should I keep digging? Yes, you definitely should, Milo. Luckily, the cave has gravel on the floor. This should make digging through it a bit easier because gravel is way softer than stone. But I hate getting gravel all over my feathers. I really need to take a shower or something. Yeah, you totally do. Gravel can be so messy. Luckily, digging won't last much longer for this stage, Milo. We're almost done. Oh, good, because I'm getting tired and we only have just started building. You're right, Milo. You can't get tired yet. We still have 10 minutes to defend our family, so if we snooze early, we'll totally get destroyed by the bomb. Snoozing can be for later. Although, I probably won't get a lot of sleep because my baby will be crying so much. Not if we build deep enough underground that we don't even hear the explosion. If we do that, our families won't even know there's a bomb happening and your baby will be safe. That's really smart. Now that we've built this hole, I think we need to add stairs going all the way down. I vote that we use polished deep slate stairs. Yeah, I guess we can use that. 
Although it's not my most favorite block. Yeah, it's not mine either, Milo, but it's really tough. This stuff is twice as hard to mine as stone is, so by using this, it means we do not let the bomb in. I'm just over here testing that the staircase works. I don't think we made it long enough, Chip. Oh, you're right, Milo. We made it a little too deep, but don't worry. You do not have to mine out that area. Now that we've dug this staircase this far down, we need to place more iron blocks in a tube just like this. But why? Stairs don't go straight down. Are you a dum-dum? No, Milo, I'm not a dum-dum. If you keep digging down like this, I will explain exactly what my plan is. All right, Milo's always doing the digging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, because I will be doing the building, the building of ladders on the sides of these iron blocks. These will help us go straight down much quicker than a staircase would. Oh, ladders? The ladders are too complicated for me, Chip. Don't worry, Milo. That's why I'm handling them. All you have to do is go up and down them when we have to move our families inside. But that's the problem. I'm not very good at going up and down ladders. I fall off them all the time. Yeah, you definitely do. It's kind of funny to see, but I do not want to see you falling off these ladders, Milo. That's why I'm also going to be placing ladders on the other side. Well, you're going to have to take me to the hospital if I fall. What? Milo, there's no hospital. Not if it gets blown up by a nuclear bomb. We'll have to build a hospital inside the bunker as well. What? Oh, my gosh. We're going to have to build everything. That's very crazy. It is pretty crazy, but you know what else is crazy? You've dug so far already. You did a great job with this hole. Now we just have to dig out these walls a bit. Well, are we replacing them with iron blocks? Yes, we definitely are. Iron blocks are so strong, so we need to make sure we hit every single spot. But we need to leave a gap here to build the rest of the bunker in. The rest of the bunker? Oh, I forgot we have to make this thing really big if we're gonna be down here for a whole lot of time. Oh, yeah, we might be down here for a while. Nuclear bombs don't just explode, but they also leave a bunch of radiation. If the bomb lands too fast, the whole place will become radiated and we'll be in a lot of danger and we might never leave the bunker. This is really scaring me. Now I understand the seriousness of the situation. Yeah, it definitely is serious. Milo, why don't you extend these ladders all the way up this wall while I keep working on the next part of our defense from the nuclear bomb? You got it, Chip. Thanks, Milo. I'm going to make this next room a little bit wider. The walls need to go outwards in each direction just like this. It cannot be the same skinny hallway that we've had so far. I think this is a great design and looking perfect. Okay, I also want the floor to go down a little bit. Here is where I'm going to put even more deep slate stairs and then I'll get some regular polished deep slate just like this. I want this to go a couple blocks in this direction. That's really important because at the end of this room, we are going to make a vault. Hey, Chip, did you see how fast I put all those ladders down? I think I'm getting better at building. Wow, I didn't even see you build. That's how fast it was. I'm very impressed with your building, Milo. You've done a great job. Thanks. Really good so far. Maybe I can do some more digging, I guess. Thanks, Milo. That's a really good idea. While you do the digging, I'm going to quickly add this deep slate to the floor, and I think that's a pretty good length to dig. Now that you've dug almost as far as we need to, I can just fill in these walls, and then we'll be able to make the vault door. Yeah, we need a really strong door with lots of very tough materials. We don't want any of that smelly radiation getting in. Yeah, radiation is really stinky. It makes all the fish grow three eyes and all the dogs grow three heads. Three heads? Does that mean I'm gonna grow three heads as well? No, it won't, Milo, because we'll be safe, safe behind this vault wall. I think we need to use blocks of netherite to build this vault door out of. Netherite? Oh my gosh, I didn't know this place was gonna be a it's expensive, but netherite is one of the strongest blocks in the game. By using it for the walls of this vault, we really make sure it's super secure, and it's not the only secure block. We also need to use obsidian, just like this, around the edges. What the? That's super strong! How about I do the Milo test to see how strong it really is? Ah, uh, bang! I just hurt my head on it, Chip! Uh, Milo, does that mean it passes or fails the Milo test? Well, Uh, so is that a good thing? Uh, let me think about it for 10 minutes. 
Okay, while you think about it, I need to make sure that on the other side of this massive vault door is a huge amount of obsidian because we are going to be using TNT to blow up a massive open space. This open space is so important because we are going to build every single part of the vault inside it. It's gonna be a huge bunker vault that will keep everyone we know safe. By making sure that we add obsidian around this wall here, we do not let any of the TNT break the entrance. If the entrance gets broken, Milo, we could be trapped down here forever with no way ever to escape because there will be too much rubble blocking the hole upwards. But if I can't escape, that means I can't go back to school. Yeah, and you'll never learn how to do math. That would be a disaster. The world would almost end even after it almost would end from the nuclear bombs. Yeah isn't so great at the moment. No, it's not. But Milo will have lots of space inside this bunker to do lots of awesome math for you. Let's clear out a space here so that we can start laying down some TNT to make the explosions. Yeah, I love explosions. Just not when they're nuclear explosions. Yeah, these TNT explosions are going to be regular TNTs, not some crazy nuke TNT. Nuke TNT is terrible, but this TNT is really way better. Just watch. Yeah. Wow, uh-oh, it almost blew up underneath that obsidian wall. Let's extend this obsidian a little bit further downwards before we continue making more TNT around this cave. Let's blow it up! This is such a good idea, and it's so much fun! Yeah, it really is fun. I guess when an explosion isn't going to destroy your whole family, it can be kind of fun. That's so true! All right, this TNT is exploding, and whoa, that was a crazy cool explosion. And look, because of all the obsidian we placed, it did not hurt our vault at all. That means it's a really good test of how strong the vault is. Yeah, it definitely is, but uh oh, Milo, I think we've built under a water cave. We need to block it off to make sure that no water floods our vault. That would not be a very good spot to keep our families safe inside if we can't even breathe in it. We'd be stuck down here drowning. Yeah, that would be a disaster. To make sure that that does not happen, we are not going to place any more TNT around the top half of this hole. We only need to place it around the very bottom. Besides, this will make sure that our bunker goes even deeper than before. That's a great way to make sure that we and our families stay really safe. I'm gonna stand up here and watch from a distance. I don't wanna get caught in any kind of crazy explosion or anything. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, Milo. If you got caught in the explosion, we'd have to nurse you back to health and it would really make this take way longer. And that is time that we do not have. Here, I'll light the explosion, but watch out, Milo. Don't let it get you. Whoa, that explosion was huge. Did it do any damage to our vault? Oh goodness, it almost did. I think I need to be a bit more careful next time. Yeah, and look, this stupid water is back. How annoying. Oh goodness, you know what? I'm gonna block off this water with obsidian now. This way, it's way less likely to come back. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh oh, I accidentally let a little bit more through. That was embarrassing. And hey, there's more water down here. What? This is weird. I really think we need to do a better job of blocking off the water before we try building more. Milo, don't block it off using oars. We need to use sponge blocks, just like this. By using sponge, we can make the water disappear way quicker than we ever could before. Wow, I didn't know that was something you could do. That's so smart. Yeah, it is pretty smart. I'm so glad I thought of it. We only have a couple more water blocks that we need to clear. One more round of TNT should do it. Then we'll have a massive open space to build our vault inside. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it really is. Oh, I can't wait to see how cool our vault is. We can build so many awesome things in it, like farms and places for our families to have fun. And we can even build massive bedrooms for everybody so everyone gets their own awesome space. I'm gonna Biggest bedroom, thank you very much. What? Why do you get the biggest bedroom, Milo? Because I'm the coolest, and also I need lots of room to run around and do silly things. Yeah, okay, we can build a big running room for that. I want to have the biggest bedroom. That should be me. I'm the oldest by far. I'm gonna cry if you get the biggest bedroom. Okay, don't cry. I guess we can both have equal size bedrooms, but whoa, look out for that TNT, Milo, because it just made a huge explosion. Don't 
That's perfect. You're learning so fast. I'm really proud of you. Now we can start building our amazing doomsday bunker inside this huge area. We just have to make sure that it's all level first. This place is a real mess and I don't want to build in something so messy. Let's turn this into a giant square and then we can really get started. Good job, Milo. You did a really, really amazing job making sure this whole place was nice and smooth. But now it's time for Chip to step in. I'm going to grab some bedrock and use it to make a frame all around the edge. This way, there is no risk of it caving in. If it does cave in, that would be absolutely terrible because all of our families will be inside here. It means that they will all get crushed and I'm not letting that happen. Especially with the force of a nuclear bomb, we have to make sure that whatever we build is very sturdy. Yeah, that's in the game, so it's gonna be really good. Yeah, it really will. I'm gonna build scaffolding down every single corner of this cube. Good job, you're also doing it as well. Thanks, Milo. I'm so glad we're working together as a team on this. Yeah, I'm a bunker pro. Yeah, totally. I'm also gonna place one last ring of bedrock all around the bottom. I wanna make sure we're protected from every angle. The roof could cave in from the bomb or there could be an earthquake. So by having bedrock on every single corner, we can make sure that we are protected against any possibility. We're so smart. I'm so happy we have the idea to do this. Be yeah, me too. I'm also going to grab a couple more blocks of smooth quartz. I need to build a huge ring all the way around this level. This is where we are going to be able to enter each of our different builds. I think this is a pretty good length to build it out. Let's also build it in both directions. If we can go in any way around this cube, then we have lots of space to run and we'll never get tired of each other. I'm going to do the zoomies on this because I can run really fast. Yeah, you can do zoomies on this. I think we should build it all the way around. But first, I'm going to make it go down a little bit. I just need to place the stairs like this. This is the platform where we will attach every single one of our farms. We need to make sure that the farms are up the top because down the bottom is where we are going to have all of our bedrooms. That is where we will spend most of our time. So in order to stay safe, we need to make sure that our bedrooms are on the very bottom, furthest away from the nuclear bomb. I think here is a good level to stop building it down to let's just place three more stairs and then some more quartz blocks just like this okay that is perfect now i'm going to continue making this ring all the way around the edge this way it can link up with your ring on the other side and we'll have a real running loop for you to do all your zoomies on I I'm excited for it as well, Milo. I'm not going to do much zoomies on it, but I will get my daily exercise in. I love to exercise. Exercising in the fresh air will be something that I definitely miss when we have to live in this bunker. Well, maybe we can try and make some fresh air down here. Oh, that's a great idea, Milo. Once we finish building this loop, we can add different things that create fresh air like, oh, I know. In the very middle, I am going to build a tree farm, an automatic tree farm that will make lots of oxygen for us. What? How does that even work? That sounds really, really complicated. It's not going to be easy, Milo, that's for sure. But I think if I put my mind to it, I can totally get this done. First, I need to build a ring of quartz just like this. And I also need to make sure it's the same size on every single angle. Should I put some grass inside? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll also help you. That way we can get it done twice as quickly. Right. Yeah, I love grass as well. It's so beautiful, and when you mow it, it smells so good. Perfect. Now that we've placed all of this grass, we need to get the biggest tree we can find, and for me, that is definitely a jungle sapling. Let's also grab some bone meal and some torches. This way, the sapling has everything it needs to fully grow. Oh, yeah, boy, we're gonna grow some trees. Exactly. I'm just gonna place all the torches in a ring like this, and we can place the saplings in the middle. Now it is time to start right-clicking these saplings with our bone meal. I really hope they grow nice and tall. This tree will be in the very center of our underground doomsday bunker. If this tree is stupid, I'm gonna punch it. Hey, don't punch the tree, Milo. This tree needs to stay alive forever because it'll give us oxygen. Hmm, maybe I've placed these torches a little too close. Let's break them and whoa, that was quick. Now we have an awesome tree in the very center of our bunker. This tree looks awesome. Oh my god. 
gosh, it's perfect! Wow, it really does look awesome. This place looks so much cooler already. Now, I think we need to make some more farms as well. In this wall on the very other side, we need to start digging. I think here is where we should put our automatic wheat farm. Don't dig too far though, Milo. We don't want to waste too much time. If we do, the bomb will come way faster than we think it will, and we'll be in some real big trouble. It's still pretty much we have to do all of this work just because you accidentally set off your stupid experiment. Hey, it wasn't stupid. My experiment was really smart. I was just a little careless with making sure it didn't explode. What were you even going to use it for? Well, I was going to blow up every zombie ever. That way we would never have to fight another mob battle again. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I wish it actually worked. Thanks, Milo. I wish it actually worked, too. Now we need to start clearing this whole area just like this all the way to the end in a nice square shape. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I'm helping. Thanks, Milo. While you do that, I'm going to add a ring of obsidian around the bottom. This is where the start of our plant farm will be. The plant farm is really important because it's going to be where we get all of our food from. Food is so important when you're living in an underground bunker because we can't just go explore and find more. We need to grow all of our food right here ourselves. Oh no, I'm not a very good farmer. Remember the time that I accidentally grew weeds instead of little plants? Yeah, I remember. There were dandelions everywhere. It was a really annoying day. I really hope that doesn't happen. But uh oh, one thing that almost did happen was that this farmland almost dried up. I need to make sure I put enough water inside to keep all of these plants totally, totally wet. By spacing them out correctly, we can make sure that only three blocks of water is needed to cover this whole farm. Now that we've done this, I'm going to add a huge basalt ring around the top. This way, it makes it a bit stronger than just the regular stone. Well, you're doing that. Can I please plant some bird seeds? Okay, you totally can, but only because when bird seeds grow, they can make wheat, which is something that both of our families can eat. Hey, you won't let me plant them. What the? Oh, I see what's happened. We need to add end rods. End rods make sure that there's a nice amount of light inside the farm. If there's not enough light, the plants cannot grow. Here, try planting some now. Oh. Yeah, it is, but you can only place it a certain amount of blocks away. I need to add more end rods if you want to be able to place seeds all the way down. Yeah, hurry up. I'm trying to grow my farm already. Hey, we're working together, remember, Milo? We both want this bunker to be completed so that both of our families can be protected from the bomb. That's true. I hope we can bake some really yummy bread for everyone. Yeah, whoa, I love bread. It's basically the same thing as cookies, just without the chocolate chips. Yeah. I don't want to see any cookies in this bunker. Oh, I think we will have cookies in this bunker because right next to the seed farm, we are going to have a cocoa bean farm. A cocoa bean farm? Yuck! Hey, it's not yuck to have cocoa beans. Cocoa beans are delicious and that's how we get chocolate. I hate chocolate. What? How can someone hate chocolate? You must be crazy, Milo. Everybody loves chocolate. I'm not crazy. I'm awesome. What? You are crazy if you hate chocolate, Milo. Here, I'm going to place a bunch of basalt, and then instead of stone on the walls, I'm going to replace it with jungle logs. This is important because we need to add some cocoa beans. Perfect. Once I place down these logs, we will be able to grow all the cocoa beans that we want. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Being down here for so long is making me kind of crabby. What? Crabby? Milo, are you going to grow eight legs and get a pinchy claw? I hope not. Milo, I'm just joking. I didn't mean to scare you. You're not going to become a crab just by being crabby. Okay, well, if I do become a crab, can you put me in a little jar and give me a good harm? I will. I'll make sure you have all the sand, water, and seaweed that a crab could ever want. Chip, do you think I would make a good crab? Yeah, I think you definitely would. You have really silly eyes, just like a crab does, and you make a really weird sound whenever you walk, so you'd basically fit in just right. Yeah. You for three seconds. Okay, one, two, three. All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Milo. I hope your break was long enough. Yeah, it was good, and I forgive you now for saying that my eyes are weird and that I walk funny. Sorry for saying those things, Milo. I won't say them again. Instead, I'm gonna put cocoa beans all over these walls. It looks so silly. Look, they're just growing on the wall like funny little people. Milo, people don't grow on walls. What? 
Milo, people grow up in houses. And I guess houses have walls, but people don't grow on them. People grow on the floor. You're so silly. I'm going to add a bunch of chests over here on this wall. This way we can keep any of the cocoa beans that we grow here. Oh, we could just fill them with bird seeds instead. Uh, Milo, I don't think that's a very good idea. Well, too late. <laughs> what? How did you fill it with bird seeds so quick? I just checked and there was none in there. Yeah, I'm a pro. Hey, get back here, Milo. You're going to the area where I plan on building our food storage room. Well, that sounds like a good place for me to go, because one thing about me is I love to eat. Yeah, you definitely do, but only bird seeds. It's kind of weird. I'm going to dig a hole in the wall right here for us to make our food room. I think we need to make it out of iron blocks. Well, I like to eat pumpkin seeds as well sometimes. Pumpkin seeds? That's still bird seeds, Milo. If you just eat seeds, then where will the plants grow? grow from. In my tummy. Ew, that's gross, Milo. I don't want plants growing in my tummy. I'm going to grab some iron blocks. Hey, thanks for already putting some down. You're doing a great job getting an early start on this build. Yeah, it's all about getting an early start. Early bird gets the worm, as they always say. Uh, how many worms have you caught, Milo? Well, not very many. I wasn't very good at it, so I just stuck to eating bird seeds. Oh, that explains a lot. Well, I wasn't very early to things either, but I always had plenty of cookies to go around. That's why I love them so much. They're all so delicious and really easy to make. You just need one cocoa bean and one piece of wheat and you're totally set. Perfect, we're almost done filling this whole room with iron. By using iron instead of stone or any other kind of block, we make sure that this room is really strong and super tough to break into. That's important because keeping our food safe is so important to do. Because food is my favorite thing, even more than you. Hey, what? That's so mean. Milo, you need to be nicer to me. I'm going to grab some item frames and use them to label each of our chests. I'm going to put one on the right side of every single one of these. And they're all going to have bird seeds in them. No, Milo, they're going to have different things. For example, one of them will have a bunch of bread and another one is going to have so many apples. We can also have one full of suspicious stew. Suspicious stew? I don't want any of that garbage. What? Suspicious stew is great and I think they're made out of flowers. That's basically bird seeds, right? Well, no. No, sorry, Milo. I guess you're right. Flowers and bird seeds are totally different. Flowers smell a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm like you. Hey, I smell great. That's why I'm getting pumpkin pie, cake, and cookies. I'm going to smell just like a delicious bakery. I'm also grabbing some cooked eggs and some cooked ducks. Well, Chip, our wheat is already growing. Whoa, Milo, you're totally right. Our amazing farm system is really working, and it's working really well. I'm so proud of us. If we keep building this bunker so quickly, we'll be done in no time, and the nuclear bomb won't even hit us. Although, we do have to make sure that we don't slow down. If we wait for even just one more minute, the nuclear bomb will probably get way too close for us to finish the bunker. That would put our families in so much danger. We need to finish this properly for them. Once I fill this chest with cookies, I think our food storage area will be pretty good for now. We're leaving it with a bunch of extra space to keep all of the other food items we might need. On the right hand side is all the food my family will eat and on the left hand side is what? Bird seeds? Is that all you're feeding your family, Milo? That's all they like to eat. I mean, we're birds after all. Milo, you're so silly. You're not going to eat anything, even golden carrots and golden apples? Well, maybe we could have some of those since they boost our hearts. Yeah, good idea. I think I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to grab one golden apple, an enchanted golden apple, and a golden carrot. I'll put an enchanted golden apple in this item frame and spread them all around this chest. We can have some golden apples here, and the rest can be golden carrots. This way, we have a bunch of super gold items to keep my family safe. Your family can use them too, I guess, if they really want. Speaking of keeping our family safe, before we build the next room, I need to add a bunch of glass all the way around this place. I'm going to use orange glass because I do not want any other color. This is important because it creates a safety barrier that means our kids and our wives can't fall off. Hey, what the what? You don't get to have your favorite color. I want blue. What? Why would you want a blue safety barrier? Orange is definitely the right choice. No way. Blue is the right choice and I'm putting it on my side. Your side? What? Milo, this is a shared bunker. You can't have a side. Not anymore. Not since you made that 
all orange. Uh, okay, fine. I guess this side can be orange and your side can be blue. Fine, I'll even help you put down the blue glass. Thanks, Chip. You're welcome, Milo. But remember, just because it's blue does not mean that you own this side, okay? Hey, how come your orange goes all the way to here? This is so annoying. Because your blue goes all the other way to the side of the top, Milo. It's fair, I promise. Fine, I guess this is all right. Yeah, it totally is. And now I'm going to make a freezer over here. It's going to be right next to the food room. This way, all of our food can stay nice and cold in case it doesn't want to spoil. This way, we'll have food for years and years to survive down here with. Maybe sometimes I'll hang out in the freezer. What? Why would you hang out in the freezer, Milo? It's not going to get sunny or hot down here because we're so far underground. Well, sometimes I like getting really cold. Then I step outside and the outside feels really warm. Um, there's no outside here, Milo. We'll be underground surviving from the radiation for a while. We also have to survive from the nuclear bomb blast, remember? So we better get building. Yeah, but what if the nuclear bomb makes everything super hot? Oh, that's a good point, Milo. I better add lots of ice to every single wall around this freezer. By making sure there's not a single spot of stone or any other block left inside of here, we can make sure that it's a nice cool room. This way we can go inside here just in case the nuclear bomb does make the world really hot. Hey, I can go ice skating in here. Yeah, you totally can. I guess this is also a really fun room that our kids can play in as well. And we could even put a snowman in here and he could take care of everything. That's a great idea, Milo. I'm going to add some fences over here. Let's make warped fence gates just like this. This way we can keep a snowman inside. I'll help you build him. First, we need two blocks of snow and then we need a jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to use a jack-o'-lantern instead of a pumpkin because I just think it looks cooler. Are you ready for me to place the jack-o'-lantern on and summon the golem? I'm really excited. Me too. And I'm going to do it right now. Whoa, look, we already have a golem friend. And look, I'm going to steal his friend. What? Milo, that's horrifying. Although, I guess he does look a lot smilier now. Yeah, he's my favorite friend. Me and this snowman, we're gonna be best buddies forever. Hey, what about us, Milo? Hi, Mr. Snowman. Yeah, my no chip really stinks. Hey, what? I smell great. <laughs> Ugh, I kind of do stink a little bit, actually. Yeah, Mr. Snowman agrees. What? Well, okay, I'll just give myself a quick little bath. Look, I'll dig two blocks down, place some water, and boom, I'm already cleaned. Now I just need to fill up this hole with ice and stone. That was weird, Chip. Hey, sorry, Milo. I guess I'll just leave you with your new best friend. Bye. Ugh, I need to build something way better than that freezer so that Milo leaves it and comes to be my friend again. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to build. Over here, I'm going to dig into the walls and make a giant animal farm. Milo loves animals. He is a birdie after all, so he makes really good friends with them. And they make Milo seem normal by comparison, so it's pretty good for both of them. Let's make sure that this area is really nice and wide. I want the animals to have lots of space. It is really cruel to keep animals in a super closed area. You need to give them lots of areas to run around in the green open grass. Let's make sure that we also have a lot of air above them to breathe. The animals are going to be underground, so I don't want them to be too sad. If the roof is too low, they would feel really scared and claustrophobic. We need to make sure that they have lots of fun space to run around and be happy in. Let's dig this a couple more blocks this way and perfect. Let's just make sure that the whole area is nice and uniform. Yeah? Yeah, what is it, Milo? I just gave the snowman friend a name. What? Why are you naming him? Milo, this is how you get attached. Yeah, his name's Jip Jip. Jip Jip? Yeah. What? Milo, how do you spell Jip Jip? J-I-P. J-I-P. That sounds awfully similar to Chip, Milo. Oh, yeah. I guess it does. Well, I didn't mean for it to sound like Chip. Okay, you just copied my name by accident. That's fine, I guess. As long as he doesn't leave that freezer and start walking around here like he owns the place or something. He won't. Are you talking about yourself, Milo? Hey, I'm not talking about myself. Watch it, buddy. Okay, sorry. I think you'll be really happy with me after you learn what I'm building. I'm grabbing spruce fences right now, and I'm also going to grab some grass blocks because I am building an animal farm. An animal farm? Please don't put me in the animal farm. I know I'm a bird, but I belong out here. I know you do, Milo. Don't worry. You and your family will not be going inside the animal farm unless it's to play with the animals. Oh, really? 
that I can hang out with cute animals? Yeah, and so that both of our kids can play with them too. They're going to learn to love nature and animals as well. Even though we'll be living and growing up inside a bunker, we need to make sure that they can still learn how to love the environment. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, this is really nice. Chip Chip agrees. I don't like how his name is so close to mine, Milo. It has nothing to do with you. Chip Chip is original and awesome. And he doesn't really like you, actually. Uh, that's so mean. Well, he'll definitely like me after I build this place. I'm going to grab some jungle planks and a bunch of spawn eggs. Hmm, what animals could we have inside here? Oh, I know. We need to have some horses and definitely some sheep and pigs as well as some cows as well, I think. Perfect. I think this is a great amount of animals, but let's also grab chickens too. I think they'll match really well with you and your family, Milo, because you're all birdies. Well, I was just talking to Chip Chip and he wants an axolotl. An axolotl? Milo, axolotls need water to survive. Well, I'm sure we can organize that, right? Uh, I guess we can. Okay, I'll put the sheep in here and then I'll get working on the axolotl and horse area. Yeah. Chip. The horse can go right in here. It needs to be close to the stairs so that we can quickly run up. It also needs to be really thin because I don't want the horse escaping. I think this is pretty good. A nice distance inwards for the horse. Let's just dig it far enough so that the horse has a lot of jumping room and perfect. I'm going to quickly grab those fences. I'm going to put two right here. I'm also going to grab the grass and add some along the floor. Uh oh, I totally broke one of those fences. Let me just put that back. Perfect. I almost made a huge mistake. Let's spawn in the horse right here and uh-oh, he's suffocating in the walls. Uh-oh, this is a really small bunker so far, Milo. We need to make sure it's really big when both of our families arrive. Otherwise, I don't know how we're going to fit in here. Oh, goodness, and we've only just done this stuff. We have so much more to do as well. Yeah, we totally do. I'm just going to add some walls to this animal pen so that it looks like a barn. Let me make sure we add some polished basalt. And uh-oh, I just hit one of the piggies. I keep upsetting the animals. This is real bad. If this keeps happening, this place could be a real disaster. You're not a very good animal keeper, Chip. Hey, I'm trying my best, okay, Milo? Animals are really hard to take care of. So are you as well. What? You don't take care of me. I take care of myself. I'm Jip Jip. Um, Milo, wasn't it only a couple weeks ago you learned to chew your own food? Well, yes, but we don't need to talk about that. Okay, I won't. As long as you're nice to me, too. That's why I'm building an axolotl pen. I'm going to build it right in this wall here so it's a nice little window. I'm also going to dig it quite far back so the axolotl has lots of space to swim around in his fun little area. Hey, this is really cute. I'm so happy we're going to have some axolotls. Yeah, me too. I'm going to place a bunch of sand in, and I'm also going to get some blue glass. That way, it'll be really cool next to the blue water. I'm also going to grab a water bucket, and now I can start placing in the sand, just like this. I also need to place the glass before I place the axolotl. I'm going to dig a little area so that I can come up and out once it's done. I don't want to be stuck in here after all. Let's place the water just like this, and perfect. Before we add the axolotl, I need to add in some decorations. Let's grab seagrass and sea pickles as well as some coral. I think some brain coral and some bubble coral will be absolutely perfect. Let's add seagrass right over here and the coral can go along the walls and in the back. Axolotls are pink, so it'll really help him blend in. Lastly, I'm just going to add some sea pickles. Wow, perfect. Now it is time to add in the axolotl. I wonder what color it's going to be. I'm so me too. Let's start spawning them in. Whoa, we got two pink ones and a yellow one. Let's try and get a bunch of different colors. Whoa, they're so beautiful. I think this is a perfect amount of axolotls. I'm going to swim up and lock them in. Wow, they look really happy. Wow, I love this bunker so much. Yeah, although it's going to be weird only having our families inside. I think we need to build a villager area. This way we can have lots of villagers in here to trade with and talk to so we don't lose our minds being stuck with just each other. Yeah, I'll have someone else to talk to other than you, of course. And Jip Jip. Why don't I mind talking to Jip Jip? Hey, what does Jip Jip have that I don't? Just lots of awesome things to say. What? Everything I say is awesome. Yeah, in your dreams. Yeah, I actually did have a dream one time where everything I said was so awesome, I won a trophy for it. What? Impossibility. Milo, that's not a word. Do you mean it sounds impossible? Well, I guess so. I didn't get to finish school, so I wouldn't know. 
now? Yeah. Oh, I have a great idea, Milo. Some of these villages should be librarian villages. That way they can teach you and both of our kids the next level of school, which I think for all of you is great too. <laughs> Perfect. We'll be able to do that once we clear out all of this stone from this room and once we decorate the walls a little bit. I think if we want librarian villagers to move in, we better add some basalt and then fill this whole room with a bunch of bookshelves. Bookshelves? Boring! Hey, what's so boring about bookshelves, Milo? Well, they're ugly. What? I don't think they're ugly at all. They have so many beautiful colors and every book inside them tells a different story. I don't even really know how to read, so I don't really care about the stories. Um, Milo, if you don't know how to read, then wouldn't bookshelves be really useful to you? No, all I see in the books are squiggly lines and they don't make any sense. Milo, this is probably why you should be interested in books. It can help you learn how to read and that's something you absolutely need right now. Oh, fine. If we stay in this bunker for long enough, I guess I'll learn how to read. But I wish I could go run around up once we build a downstairs, you'll be able to run around on any level inside this bunker that you want to. Yeah, but not the outside wall, since you blew it up with a nuke. Milo, I don't want to keep arguing with you like this. The nuke is on its way, and it's just getting closer with every second that we waste by arguing. We need to quickly get fences and a bunch of places to put these villages in. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we don't have much time. We need to make sure that lots of these villagers are librarians. Otherwise, our kids will not want to stay here because they'll never learn anything. Okay, I'll start grabbing workstations and villager spawn eggs so that we can have a bunch of different things. I'm also grabbing a bell, a cauldron, a brewing stand, and hmm. There is a block that we need to get librarian villagers, and I think it's a lectern. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's also grab a barrel, and I also think we definitely need to grab a loom. Finally, let's grab a blast furnace as well. This way we can have lots of useful villages in here. I think I'll place the blast furnace like that and the lectern just here. Let's actually have a couple of them be lecterns. That way we can have lots of really smart librarians. In here, I'm gonna have a brewing stand, then a cauldron and a grindstone. Grindstone villages make armor. It's really cool. We can also have a barrel and finally a loom. Perfect. There are now enough spots to spawn villages inside. Let's add them inside every single station. See, every single villager is getting a different job. We have a Fletcher, a Fisherman, an Armor Smith, a Toolsmith, or a Potion Master, and two Librarians, and an Armorer. Wait a second, I think the Armorer has a baby, Milo. What? He does have a baby! What the? I think he's training to be an Armorer just like his dad. But Milo, can you go talk to Jip Jip for me for a second? Yeah! You don't have to tell me twice. Okay, while Milo is talking to Jip Jip, I have a plan. I'm going to tell Milo that the nuclear bomb is here and tell him that he needs to grab his most prized possession and protect it. I think he's gonna grab his family, totally. If he grabs something that is not his family, that is so embarrassing for him. Okay, it is time to start the prank. Milo, Milo! What? The nuke is coming right now. It's about to explode in three seconds. You need to quickly grab your most prized possession to protect it right now. Now. Oh my gosh, what? That's so scary! Okay, good luck, Milo. I'm gonna, um, check on the food chests. All right, Chip. I'm getting my prize possession. I wonder what it could be. I really hope it is his family. If it's not, that would be so embarrassing, and I'm totally gonna make fun of him for it. Okay, we have a bunch of eggs in here. Ba ba ba. I'm just pretending to look at all these foods. I really can't wait till Milo gets back. I better look busy when he does. I'm back, Chip. And, okay, where's your prize possession, Milo? Well, it's my bird seeds, of course. I can't live without them. Um, Milo, what about your family? Ah, uh, my family? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Milo, don't worry. Don't grab your family. That was actually a prank. The nuclear bomb is not hitting just yet. It's still coming, but it's five minutes away. I just wanted to see what you would get and what your most prized possession is, and I'm really weirded out that it's not your family. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for pranking me, bozo. Instead of you. Okay, but Milo, I'm sorry. There's no more time for pranking or talking. We have to get back to building right now. We don't have much time. Whatever. 
Grandpa. Uh, I think Milo's definitely mad at me, so I better get started on the next build. He's gonna need a while to cool down, so I just need to focus on this. I'm gonna build an elevator system. This will take us to the bottom floor where all of the bedrooms and other places that we live are gonna go. Let's make sure that this platform goes out first. We need lots of space to fit the elevators inside. I'm gonna use bubble columns to get up and down. I think this side can go down and I just need to place some areas at the bottom to catch the water and this side can definitely go up. Perfect, I just need to place them like this. Now we need to add glass around the edges of these things. They need to be like tubes. I think the one that goes down can definitely be blue just like Milo because he is going down. I'm just kidding, me and Milo need to work together and I think the orange one should definitely be the one that goes up because things are always looking up when you're orange or at least when your favorite color is orange just like me. Whoa, I've already built lots of this first blue tube. It's going so much quicker than I thought it would. All right, let's keep making it. This blue tube needs to be open at the bottom a little though, but I can't do that just yet. First, I need to place water that goes all the way up and down it. At the bottom, instead of having just open air, because that'll make the water spill out, I need to have two blue signs. That way, it won't look weird at the bottom and it won't make water spill everywhere, which would be a disaster. It would make it so much harder to get in and out of these elevators, which I don't want. We need to be able to use them really quickly in case of an emergency. I'm gonna place the water in this one right away. Okay, I need to make sure I place this water all the way down. If I miss a single block, then the bubble column will not work. Okay, I think I've done that right. Now we just need to place down a magma block at the very bottom here. I'll also grab a soul sand block because that is how we're going to build the upwards elevator. We'll put the magma block right here and yup, it definitely pulls you all the way down. That is perfect. I need to be smart about this though. I need to make sure we can break these glass blocks and replace them with something without the water spilling everywhere. Let me grab a warped sign just like this. Let's place them down really quickly and boom. Okay. We did that one and we did that one as well. We did that really quickly. Perfect. Now you can go all the way down the blue elevator. I just need to make sure you can go all the way up the orange elevator. Let's place the soul sand early before we add the water. And rather than having warped signs, I think we need to have acacia signs. They are orange, so it'll fit way better in with this orange glass, just like that. Perfect. Although I could have done the orange around the magma because both of those blocks are orange, but orange still kind of fits with the color brown. Brown is closer to orange than it is to the color blue, so I still think it matches. Perfect. This will totally be finished by the time that the bunker gets hit by that nuke. Oh yeah, and by the time this is done, every member of our families will be able to reach the bottom of the bunker. That is so important because it's the safest spot from the nuke. If it does blow up any part of this bunker, it will definitely hit the top levels. So by being on the bottom levels, we double our chance of survival. I think those are some pretty good odds, but we can't be too certain. That's why we really need to try our best to make sure we still survive this thing. Let's place water going all the way down this glass tube as well. We can never place too much. Now is the fun part. We get to test if this water goes all the way up to the top and wait a second, it doesn't. Let's quickly fix that. Oh yeah, that was a close one. It almost didn't go all the way to the top. That could have been a real disaster and oops, I almost placed way too much water on the top. That almost spilled out everywhere. But now that we've built all the way to the bottom, it is time to make our awesome bedrooms. I say making one over here is a great idea. I think this can be my room. I'm so excited to make it. I think it should definitely be orange. I've spent way too much time around all these gray walls that orange is a great plan. Okay, I just need to dig out an area here. Okay, this is looking awesome. I don't want it to be too big because we do need to build everybody else's bedroom and I can't spend too much time wasting it looking at my own. Okay, perfect. I think this back wall's far enough. Now it is time to grab the floor. I'm gonna make it out of spruce planks and spruce wood. We'll also grab orange concrete for the walls. And I think that's basically all we need. I'm gonna dig out the floor just here. Yep, this is what I want. I'm gonna make sure that the floor becomes spruce. It's a perfect block to use. It's such a nice color and it looks really good next to the orange that comes along with the walls. I'll place the spruce like this and then we can add the spruce wood along the edges. This looks so fancy. I am really, really proud of it. All right, finally, 
finally, we can now add the orange onto the walls just like this. Let's make sure we do this wall first. I want to finish this wall before even starting on the other ones. Although now that we have finished it, we can make this back wall. Whoa, it looks so orange already. This is the most fashionable room inside the entire bunker, which is pretty crazy to say because there are already so many rooms in here. I bet this will be the coolest bedroom of the bunch. By far, nobody else will be able to have a cooler bedroom than I am. Not unless they make theirs even more orange. Let's just add orange to the corners before we start decorating the inside. Okay, this is looking great. I am going to add some spruce stairs though. I need to make sure it's really easy to get up in there. Perfect. I think I might have made the roof a little too short, but that's okay. This is a bedroom and I'm going to be laying down anyway, so I'm sure it's totally fine. I'm also going to grab some acacia cabinets and some bedside chests. In fact, we don't even need cabinets at all. I'll also grab flower pods, but I'm not going to place them just yet. Let's also grab some orange tulips to put inside. Let's put down the acacia bedside cabinets just here and add the flower pots on top. Oh, the tulips are now inside and it looks really nice in here. I'm loving the room design so far. I'm going to add in some carpets to the sides though. I think orange carpets are the best way to go. Oh, this already looks beautiful and oh gosh. Hi Milo, where are you? Oh, there you are. Chip. Oh my gosh, Chip. Me and Chip Chip have just been talking and we're totally freaking out. Why are you and Chip Chip freaking out, Milo? Because the aliens, they're gonna come and get us. Chip Chip said that when the nuclear bomb goes off, the aliens are gonna come and attack us in our bunker. We need to prepare, Chip. Wait, what? Aliens? Attacking the bunker? Milo, this is crazy. I designed that bomb myself, and I did not program any aliens into it. Well, I trust Chip Chip more than you, and I know that we need to prepare for the aliens. Oh, gosh, what are we going to do? Okay, Milo, let's just be smart about this. I guess we can prepare for aliens, because maybe burglars will try to come into our bunker when the nuclear bomb hits and destroys everything. So I guess we can make a weapons room to protect against aliens or burglars or whatever threats come from this bomb. Yes, I think that would make me feel more better about this whole situation. Okay, you promise we can make armor room when you're finished with whatever this travesty is? Hey, this is my bedroom and I'm almost finished. I just need to add one more painting. Um, I think I'm gonna add this Skull and Roses painting above the bed. Whoa, it looks so pretty. Actually, I'm gonna move it a couple blocks up, just like that. Well, it looks okay, but I don't really like that the room is orange. What, Milo? Why don't you like that the room is orange? Well, orange is a pretty ugly color, and it reminds me of you a lot. Hey, Milo, that's horrible. Well, what color do you want the armor and weapons room to be? Well, I think I want it to be purple. Purple? Ugh, that's gonna look so weird, but okay, fine. I say we build a purple armor and weapons room right at the back of the bunker here. Yeah, let's do it over here. This looks like a good spot for the armor and weapons room, and the aliens are not gonna know that it's over here. I'm a little worried about making it purple, though. That's gonna look so silly, but I guess whatever you say, Milo. Well, we can't make it blue because that's my color. We can't make it orange because that's your color. So maybe we can make it purple. I guess. Even though purple is not a mix of orange and blue, it's still a different color to both of us. So I'd be happy to use purple as the color for the armory room. We just have to make sure it looks super scary and not nice and cuddly like purple things normally are. Well, Jip Jip told me that purple is the color that aliens don't like. Oh, because aliens are normally green and purple and green are basically opposite. That's why the end and the overworld are purple and green. It's opposite colors. I'm going to start grabbing purple concrete and terracotta to start making this place out of. Sounds good to me. I'm also grabbing purple stairs and purple blocks, as well as some purple pillars. It's really important we pick all of our blocks really smartly for this. Good job, Milo. While you keep filling these chests with weapons to attack any, uh aliens or anything that comes inside with, I'm going to continue making bedrooms for everyone. You know what I'm putting in the bottom two chests, Chip? What are you putting inside there, Milo? Birdseeds! Oh my gosh, Milo, you're so crazy, but I guess I can't stop you. Next to this big, amazing orange bedroom, I guess I'll add some other bedrooms for you and your family too. Thanks, that's really good! You're welcome, Milo. Anything I can do to help. 
All right, I just need to dig this place a little far back. Your room can go a couple blocks further back than mine, but it's going to be really skinny. I think that'll be so funny. Your floor is also going to be made out of a different material. Mine is made out of spruce wood, but I think yours can totally be made out of birch wood. Yeah, that's perfect. I noticed you have it inside your house normally, so I figured it'll totally fit. I just want my room to be mostly blue because that's my most favorite color. Okay, I guess I can make your room mostly blue, Milo, if that'll make you happy. Yeah, that will make me really happy. Now that I've placed down the stairs, we can actually add the blue concrete just like this. I'm going to add it to every wall, just like I did the orange concrete in my room like. Perfect. I'm also going to add it to the back wall right over here. Perfect. This is going so quick. Milo, what sort of decorations do you want to have inside your room? Well, I want to have some blue carpet, thank you very much. And maybe a blue bed, definitely. And probably like some blue candles and stuff. Okay, that's a great idea. So basically just a bunch of different blue things, right? Yeah of blue things. No orange in here. Thank you very much. I think we need to make a green bedroom for both our families to stay in on this wall right over here. But green is kind of random. Why green? I think we've built with lots of different colors. We have orange, blue, and purple, and there's not a lot of green in here other than the tree in the middle. That's true. I am missing a little bit of greenery. Yeah, and by adding green, it'll probably remind our families of the nature that they used to live in. It'll hopefully make them a bit less homesick. Yeah, Oh, goodness. I keep forgetting we're gonna have to stay in this bunker pretty much forever. Hmm, Milo, my research is actually telling me something different. I realized earlier while I was building my bedroom that the radiation in my bomb won't last very long. Maybe if we can survive this bomb really well, then we'll be able to leave the bunker super soon. Really? Oh, my gosh, that means we need to work even harder. It does. We need to make sure we super duper have a great chance of surviving. So in case we do need to stay down here, we need to really, really beef up our amazing spaces for our family to stay in. I'm going to grab some oak planks and some oak stairs as well. Let's also grab some lime green concrete. Perfect. I'm going to build this quicker than I built anything before. Wow, you're a pretty speedy builder, champ. Thanks, Milo. I really did practice. I went to speed building school and I studied really hard. I was basically the top of my class. I got really good grades and everyone loved me so much. I was also really handsome and everyone in my class wanted to date me. What? What? You don't think I'm handsome, Milo? That's so rude. Yuck, you're gross. No one would ever want to date you. Um, tell that to my wife, Milo. The wife that's going to be staying with us in the bunker. Well, I guess she did date you and marry you. That's so Silly. It's not silly, it's sweet, and we're in love. That's why I'm building this bunker for her and our child. Well, I guess so. Aren't you doing the same thing for your family, Milo? I feel like you should totally understand. Yeah, I understand. Perfect, so I think we definitely need to hurry. You can totally understand that as well, right, Milo? Sure. Um, Milo, why are you placing lime concrete all around the floor here? Well, I just thought it was a good decoration. No, Milo, it makes the room messy and it's going to make our wives and our babies totally trip and fall over. We do not want that. It'll hurt them. How come you get to make all the decisions? Uh, it's not me making the decisions. I'm just thinking about it smartly, Milo. Yes, yeah, smartly, if smartly meant dumbly. It doesn't, but okay, Milo. Now I need to grab an orange and a blue bed. This way we can place down two orange and two blue ones. One for each of our wives and one for each of our kids. Hey, Chip. What is it, Milo? Do I look epic right now? Um, Milo, I'm afraid that I'm going to turn around and see something crazy. Well, I'm not over there. I'm in the armor room. What? Okay, I'm really nervous to see what you look like. And Milo, get off the stone cutter. What are you doing? Oh, I'm standing behind it. I'm just practicing how I'm going to look at all the aliens. Milo, be careful. Your hand is waving around really close to those blades. You need to be way more careful. Otherwise, you'll die before the bomb even lands here. I don't care about being careful. I'm a hardcore guy. Oh, Milo, you're going to be a dead guy pretty soon unless you're careful. Oh, gosh, yeah, okay, I'll come help you, I guess. Thanks. I'm going to build cots for each of our babies right next to where our wives are. We can have a blue one for your baby and an orange one for my baby, too. That's so cool. Great idea. Thanks, Milo. I'm also going to build each of our wives a chest so that they can keep all their belongings safe. That's so 
are smart. Our wives are going to have a lovely time here in the bunker. Yeah, they definitely will. I'm also going to give them a random painting. This way, they'll know all about what bad things could have happened if we ever decide to leave the bunker and the radiation's too bad. We'll get burned up, so we definitely have to stay here forever. That's why we need to make some fun things for each of our family and our kids to enjoy. Totally. I'm going to make a bouncy house and another cool fun thing inside this wall right over here. Up. I'm going to make this bouncy house the most fun bouncy house anyone has ever seen. That's why it's only going to go a little bit into the wall. It's also going to stick out and be a big castle on the outside. Let's grab the yellow concrete and then we'll grab the slime blocks. These are both really important ingredients. We'll place the slime blocks just like this and they can even go all the way along the floor. Oh yeah, this looks great so far. I'm going to be bouncing all day long in this bouncy castle. Yeah, that's a good idea, Milo. It'll get some real good use. You can also teach our kids how to jump up and down to get some good exercise. Yeah, no one's better than jumping up and down and running around like Milo. Yeah, you are the best at that. It's kind of crazy. You're a little too good at it, actually. You always jump up and down, and sometimes I just wish you would stop. Hey, look! I'm climbing the tree! Uh, Milo, if I turn around and you really are climbing the tree, I'm gonna lose my mind and... Milo, get off! Wait, why? I'm just trying to have Milo, that is the only tree inside the entire bunker. If that tree falls over or gets like knocked by you or something, it'll totally fall down and we won't have any oxygen. Oh, goodness gracious, I didn't even think about that. My brain is so dumb today. Yeah, it kind of is, Milo, but don't worry. I'm here to make sure you don't do anything silly. I'll protect my family, but I guess I can protect you and your family as well. Now that I've built out like this, I need to add the final slime blocks in the floor, followed by some some more yellow concrete. Perfect, this looks great. Now I need to add some cool castle shapes to this bouncy house. Otherwise, it really is just a bouncy house and not a bouncy castle. Nobody wants a bouncy house. That's just boring. You may as well just have a trampoline. Boring! Yeah, exactly. Okay, now I'm gonna add some pillars just like this and we can really add the cool castle shapes on top. Hey, this looks awesome. I totally love this addition to our bunker. Thanks, Milo. I love it too. I need to change the shape a little because it's not very symmetrical, but yeah, I think it looks perfect now. That nuke is totally going to be jealous of our bunker. Yeah, it definitely will, especially our bouncy castle part. Maybe the nuke will want to join us in the bouncy castle. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. If the nuke joins us in the bouncy castle, then all of our families will blow up. Oh, gosh, I didn't really think about it, but that's super true. Next to the bouncy castle, I'm going to make an awesome roller coaster. Everybody is welcome on it, even me, you, and both of our wives, but it's mostly for the kids. That's why I'm making a mini one rather than a huge one. A roller coaster? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, it is going to be awesome. I'm going to make it out of redstone. Redstone is so cool. I just need to grab the rails to build on it with. I don't know how to use redstone. I'm going to leave this one up to you, Chip. I know you don't, Milo. Don't worry. That's why I plan to be making this roller coaster from the very beginning. I'm going to place some chests right down here and absolutely fill them with minecarts just like this. We're never going to run out of fun things to do in this bunker. Now that I have added the minecarts, let's get started by placing down the redstone. The roller coaster can start pretty slow, but then it starts to speed up. It's going to do a little turn here, and then it's really going to go up quite quickly. It gets so fast but then it'll After it gets fast, though, it's gonna come to a stop. It's not gonna totally stop moving, but it will stop getting higher, and it'll circle around and lead right into the super duper drop. Whoa, this is gonna be crazy. Although, at the very last second, the drop will go normal again, and it'll pick right back up. It's gonna look like the roller coaster is ending, but it's actually not. That was only the first drop. There still needs to be one drop that's even bigger. It's gonna be the massive final drop to end all all roller coaster drops. Perfect. It's going to circle around here and then it's just going to quickly go like this. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I really hope this works. Once they land off the drop, they're going to land right on the beginning section. I'll just build up like this into the wall and perfect. Now we can actually start adding the rails on. Oh goodness. I definitely hope this works. If it doesn't, I think our families are going to get really hurt. If only there was somebody here that's really clumsy and crazy that I could test this roller coaster on first to make sure that it's safe for the babies and for our wives. Yeah, I just fell off the tree again. Whoa, Milo, you're really clumsy. And wait a minute, I just had a really good idea. What's your idea? 
Um, so I'm building a roller coaster right now, and at the moment, I don't have anyone to test it on to make sure that it works. I really need a good test subject. It'll definitely protect our families. Well, I guess I could nominate myself. Oh, wow. What a good idea, Milo. I didn't even think of that. Thank you so much for making that suggestion. And now that I've placed these two rails down, the roller coaster is ready for your testing. This roller coaster better be safe or you'll be hearing from Oh, yeah. Um, Milo, your lawyer was me. I made you sign that contract. Well, I guess you'll be hearing from yourself then. Oh, that would be weird. But all right, are you ready to test out this roller coaster? Really ready. Let's do this. Okay, I'm excited to watch it go. And wow, it's really working. Whoa, Chip, this is kind of scary. Whoa. You landed on the first drop. Good job, but here comes the second one. Chip. Don't be terrified because you made it all the way around, Milo. That means this roller coaster is safe enough for both of our families. Hang on, it's not stopping. Let me off. Um, Milo, that's because you have to get off at the bottom. What? Oh, gosh, I don't know how to. Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, goodness. Okay, uh, Milo, while you're busy freaking out, I think I'm going to build a kitchen area. That way, everybody can have all the food that they need. <laughs> Okay, fine, Milo. I guess I'll stop the roller coaster myself. But hey, you made me break my roller coaster by putting a block here. You owe me one. You tried to test your stupid experiment on me. Hey, it's not a stupid experiment. It's a cool roller coaster. And, um, Milo, you can get off whenever you want now. Okay. Whoa. That was very, very terrifying. But also kind of fun, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm glad you had fun. Hmm, rather than digging a kitchen into the wall, I actually have a better idea. I say we build the kitchen out in the main area, just next to this water elevator. Really? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I'm going to build it out of smooth quartz, just like this. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. We gotta have a fancy kitchen. Yeah, this bunker is pretty rich. It's impressive that we've been able to build so much in such a short amount of time. But we can't stop now, Milo. Just because it's looking good for us does not mean the bomb is taking any breaks. We need to quickly build this kitchen before it is too late. Oh, gosh, I'm really not looking forward to all the radiation from the nook. Yeah, me neither, Milo. But that's just why we have to try extra hard to make sure we build these final few rooms really quickly. We barely have any time left to save Save our families. I hope our families will be okay down here. You promise? I promise, Milo. We just need to add the final few rooms and then they'll be totally fine. Okay, I've added in the furnace. Now I need to add in the fridges just like this. Okay, the fridge can go in here. Oh yeah, that looks great. Amazing. I'm also going to add a couple cabinets. And Milo, can you think of any food items we can put in barrels around maybe? Oh uh, yeah, I can think of bird seeds. Uh, Milo, that is not a good answer. We can't be doing bird seeds. Um, maybe a cake or something. All right, I'll find the cake. All right, thanks, Milo. I already found one, but, uh, here you go. You can have two cakes. Thanks. Perfect. If you just put the cake inside that place, I'll add some lanterns that we can add to the ceiling to get some nice light in this kitchen. Yeah, I think that looks great. Wow, it looks so awesome already. I kind of but feeling like there's something missing, though. Well, yeah. Where am I going to wash my hands? Oh, that's a great point, Milo. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I say we definitely need to add a sink just here. Perfect. Now both our families can wash their hands and be really clean. I like this a lot. We really did a good job on the kitchen. Yeah, but now we need to do a good job on the dining and TV room. Those are the final two rooms that we need to build. And then after that, we need to quickly get our families inside here before it is too late. Oh, no. Our time's nearly up. Oh, Chip, make it quickly. I'm trying, Milo. I'm going as quick as I can. I need to place stairs on the sides. That way, both our kids can get up. They're really short, and they really struggle to climb things. Wait, Chip, I just thought of something. What is it, Milo? Is it a good thought? I haven't checked on Chip Chip in so long. I better go see how he's doing. Okay, Milo, go check on your snowman. While you do that, I'm going to work on adding a massive TV for both our families to enjoy. I think it needs to be huge and made out of black concrete. This is perfect. Whoa, let's add some spruce trapdoors all the way around the edges. That way the TV won't get broken if anybody hits it from the sides. It has a nice protective case, just like this. Perfect. I'm also going to add a sofa. In this family, we eat dinner in front of the TV all together. So let's add some orange sofas for my family and some 
and blue sofas for Milo's family. Whoa, that's perfect. It's like a little mini theater room. That is so awesome. I really love it. I think we finished building these rooms, but Milo, I'm actually a little bit worried. Wait, what? What's wrong? I'm not sure that this stone is going to hold. The bomb is getting closer and closer, and I have a feeling it's going to do a lot of damage. We can't just have stone walls. You're so made it out of glass blocks. No, Milo, we need to upgrade it to iron blocks. Oh, yeah, that's just what I was gonna say. Come on, Milo, help me make all this stone into iron before it is way too late. Okay. That should be good, Milo. I think we finished everything. And wait a minute, where is Jip Jip? Oh, no, Jip Jip has escaped. This is the worst thing ever. Milo, Jip Jip's escaped, but ugh, there's no time to get him back. We need to get our families inside the doomsday bunker before the bomb hits. Wait, Chip, Chip, get back inside, please. Step back from the edge. We can't lose you. Okay, he's down. We just need to get him inside where he can be locked up safely. Come on, Chip, Chip. We don't have time for this. What a guy. Now it's going to be really close to see if we can get our families inside. We need to hurry, Milo. The bomb is coming. Let's go. Our family is now safe inside this custom obsidian mini bunker. Thank goodness we did one last protection to keep them safe. Yeah, but Milo, now we need to go upstairs and make sure the bomb does not hit. Let's watch, but first we need to equip our netherite armor to protect us from the bomb. Okay, I'm putting it on quickly. Good idea. Okay, amazing job, Milo. I'm also going to grab a netherite sword. Yeah, just in case there's aliens. Yeah, totally. Uh, let's make our way up quick now, Milo. We need to go up this elevator because this one launches us right to the top. Oh my gosh, Chip, I'm so nervous. Me too. Oh goodness. Milo, this could determine everything. Everything we've worked for and the families we've made. We have to make sure that this bomb does not break our bunker. I hope our bunker is safe and sound. We spent so long on it. Oh my goodness, Milo, I can already see it. Look, it's hitting quick. We need to retreat. Oh, wow, that was so bright. Oh, that almost blinded me for a second. Milo, look, our bunker, it's destroyed. Oh, our hard work. Oh, my gosh, I guess it wasn't secure enough. But, Chip, what about our families? Oh, no, we better go down and check now. But, uh-oh, it's going to be difficult to get down without getting hurt. Ouch, this is really bad. I can't believe this happened. I know, me neither. I really hope they're safe. We can only hope, Milo. Oh, wow. It broke through our vault door, and we need to go down these piles of water to find them. Okay, I'm down at the bottom, and I'm not seeing anything yet, but... Oh, no, me neither. And hey, look, wait, Milo. The obsidian bunker, it survived, and our family is safe inside. Wow, we did it, Chip. We saved the day, and everyone is yeah, good job. Wow, we really did save our families. Woohoo!